guys, as promised. I'm in public with my tiny little camera. We are making today crispy Chinese style duck Woo! tacos. I'm actually really excited for I'm this one. I'm, I'm so really hungry. Nice. So, yeah. I so again, HelloFresh. Thank you to HelloFresh. We'll be doing the HelloFresh recipe. And basically, the ingredients we have are potatoes, comfit duck legs, Chinese five spice, plum, hoisin sauce, red onion, rice vinegar, baby cucumber, and plain taco tortillas. Okay, Stephanie, let's prep the wedges. So it says preheat your oven. So we don't need to preheat our oven, do we? Yeah, we don't need to. We, we don't need to do that. It says. Chop the potatoes into two centimeter wide wedges, no need to peel. Pop onto a large baking tray, drizzle with oil, season with salt and pepper, then toss to coat. Okay, I guess we're gonna do the potatoes. It's the Nigerian that has all pepper. Is that said pepper? Pepper, <laughs> honey, pepper. So, into two centimeter. Centimeter. How do you even cut wedges? How do people do this? I don't know if I'm doing this right. That's not how you cut wedges. How do you no. cut wedges? Just stop. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you not meant to cut it in the middle? Yeah, wedge that on a try. Look all the same. Okay, whatever. What? Sorry. Come <laughs> on. That is the definition. What is? What is this? <laughs> I don't know how to. Oh my god. This is so hard. Kind of the wedges. Cut it at every like. So it doesn't go. Well, this is a French fry, Stephanie. That's not a French fry. Well, this that's one. Look how skinny. That's not a French this fry. This is. Yeah, but that's, I'm trying to rectify what you've done. Okay, you do this then. I will focus on something else. So the next step is... <laughs> <laughs> Roast the duck. Remove the convict duck legs from their packaging and place in a baking tray, skin side up. Scatter over half the Chinese five spots and rub all over the duck. When the oven is hot, roast the duck on, top, on the top shelf and the wedges on the middle shelf until the duck is piping hot, the wedges are golden. Oh, okay. This is basically all sort of oven. <laughs> wedges drizzle with oil, season with salt and pepper. Yes. And it's going in. It's going in. It's in. Oh, that was quite chaotic, no? Is it just me? Hopefully I feel like it comes out nice. always chaotic though. No, but that was more chaotic than usual. Yeah. These dogs are just everywhere. Just in fact, enter the guys oven. home. <laughs> says the next step is the plum sauce. Halve the plums, remove the stones and chop the flesh into one centimeter pieces. Heat a drizzle of oil in a medium pan on, on a medium frying pan on medium heat. Once hot, add the plums and remaining Chinese five spices. Oh my goodness, I used all the Chinese half spices on the duck. Do we have some? Mm -hmm. oh, see, we really be cooking. Chinese half spices and stir fry until softened, four to five minutes. Stir in the hoisin sauce, sugar and water for the sauce. Simmer, stirring regularly until the plums have completely softened and the sauce has thickened. 10 to 12 minutes, bet. Are you trying to get these stones out and I'm struggling? Oh, it's hot. Move 
out the way. Guys, it's going well. Stop rubbing in your SPF. Just even layer, it will literally disappear if it's like a no cost SPF. That's what I've been taught. Like when you're rubbing it in like that, you're not getting the best coverage. Wine tips. And, and just like that, guys. Completely dissolved. So happy new year, my loves. Let me switch this off. Because this might be a bit loud, my heater. Happy New Year, my loves. It is Monday the 8th of January and I'm getting back into the swing of things. There are a few updates with the bedroom that I need to show you. Also, if you're wondering why the camera is moving so seamlessly, I have got a new camera, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Um, I will still be using my Sony ZV, Sony ZV E1, Sony ZV E1. Yes, I will still be using that for like, you know, the car rides because you guys like said that you guys still enjoy obviously the car rides. But when it comes to being out and about, there is no excuse. This thing is tiny, it's amazing, it's just so quick and easy to use. So hopefully this goes well and hopefully the um the mic, the internal mic is good because I haven't actually I'm not wearing the external mic. So we'll get into that. But today I have a meeting with um, one of the girls that I know in the industry, Sophie. She works for Joe Malone. Absolutely adore her. And it's crazy. We have been kind of trying to schedule like a catch up for two consecutive years. But we've always been just so busy. Stephanie was supposed to come, but unfortunately she is in um, Birmingham and she won't be back till Wednesday. So the plan is go to the meeting. But I have so much to catch you guys up on in the car. So let's just get ready. And oh, I have to show you some updates to the bedroom as well. Let me see if I can show you. Look at this table that we have. The original curtains. Well, the original. These are the curtains that were actually supposed to go up. Raised. It makes everything look so much huger. So this is the table. It's completely covered with all my kind of like journaling and books because I'm not playing about this year. So this is currently the room. Still need to get my plants. Still need to get um, a chair, like a dressing table chair because that is hideous and it's not staying. And to be fair, right now the room is not actually in the best of positions. So you're just gonna have to bear with me, you know? But let's get ready and I will update you guys everything in the car because why not? Cute. Okay, so outfit check. Let's get this done and out of the way because your girl needs to leave. It is 19 past 10, so I don't really have much time left. Okay, so I don't know if the cape is overkill maybe i don't want to do it maybe i'll just take the cape because in case it rains and i don't want rain to get on my you know so i can just go Bodum! but also i've kind of worn let me show you i've got this jw anderson skirt on which i absolutely adore 
It looks like this. Let me turn this off. Okay. So, I'm trying to understand this camera. No, I don't want active track. I don't want active track. Ah! So this is the JW Anderson skirt I absolutely adore. And then again, I'm wearing my Bottega, you know, flats. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna wear my Chanel ballet flats, but I just felt like I wanted to be a bit above the ground today. Oh yeah, and this um jumper is from NAKD. I got this a few years ago, so. This is the look. Let's go. Let us get into what has been going on with me. So I'm actually not supposed to be in the country right now. I'm supposed to be abroad, you know, Nigeria and then to Ghana. So basically what had happened was last minute on the 30th of December, I decided, yo, 31st December, I'm gone. I'm out. I'm going to Nigeria. I'll do a few days in Nigeria and then I will do a few days in Ghana, right? Basically, 31st came, I booked my ticket and everything. I wasn't really feeling it. I was getting like cold feet because I would have to go there on like my expired Nigerian passport and then, you know, get a, you take that opportunity to get a new passport in the time being. And then on the first, so I basically, I wasn't, I was just like, oh, imagine if I don't get it in time and I'm just like stuck there and waiting because apparently everyone's kind of like doing that so that they can go to Nigeria. They're just getting their passport, their Nigerian passport um, renewed, like a new one whilst there. So they're flying out on their expired one. So 31st, I start to get cold feet. I'm packed and everything. I start to get cold feet. I'm just thinking, I'm thinking that uh, this doesn't, this isn't quite making sense. You know, what if, what if? Let me just like, you know, chill. So I decide not to go. So I go to bed. I wake up on, again, it's still the 31st. So I wake up at like 1 p.m. So when I wake up, Destiny, she's like to me, let's go to Nigeria, let's go to Nigeria, let's go. Well, not like that. She didn't say it like that. <laughs> she's like, let's go, um, let's go first of, of January, isn't it? So I was like, oh, I don't know, man. She was like, don't worry, like, don't be negative it's all gonna be okay whatever so i was like you know what yeah it's true like god's got me things always work out for me anyway so i decide okay i'll go so i book another ticket this time though i use my avios points because let's be real i'm not taking another l so i use my avios points this time to book another ticket for the first of january go to bed wake up at 4 a.m get ready for the airport um my mum was gonna like accompany me there so that she can bring the car back and then stephanie ran me so she wanted to come again come as well that morning when i say come i mean come to the airport so i was like you know what you guys are taking too long we're cutting it close now so i'm just gonna drive because i know that if my mum drives omar will be sleeping on the road so i was like i'll just drive tell me why i do the reverse that i've done every single day throughout the year sometimes multiple times a day throughout the year all i hear is boom <laughs> all i hear is boom everyone's like yeah 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 in the car silence we all get out of the car to assess the damage what has happened now we check the back of the car and i have basically reversed into the stone the beginning of the stone wall in my compound it has completely removed like the exhaust trim one of the exhaust trims so you see how in the back of mercedes you have those kind of like two silver circles that's where the um gas and all that pollution stuff comes out of the exhausts right so the the plastic the trim just was completely gone and i was like oh my gosh my mom and my sister were like this is a sign just don't go just don't go do you know what i mean and i was like yeah let me cut my losses because now i just need to focus on repairing this car so i am a bit self-conscious about this car i don't know when my car is in in its best condition i feel like it's part of my outfit and it's ruined if that makes sense like for example if my lace is showing that's how i feel when my car isn't top notch because right now it's not top notch it doesn't look that bad i'll show you guys when i like drop off when i like park up and everything because i'm going to soho house 
um, free me from Soho House this year, please. Like, honestly, why does everyone always want to have meetings in Soho House? Like, let's be for real. Like, is there, there's other places and things we can do. Yes, yeah, so that's basically what happened to me. But you know what? In hindsight, I just feel like, number one, last time when I went to Ghana, I just, it was so good. And I did it so well. Like, we did it so well to the point where I really don't have much of a desire to go back there because I don't want to, like, try to relive what has already happened in that sense but also for the past few days i've really been getting into like my reading bag again so i've been reading again and fun fact when i was younger i actually wanted to be an author so i wanted to write books and poems and i actually was like writing books and poems and i used to be such a bookworm i used to read so many books when i was younger and i've missed that you know and i want to expand my vocabulary i want to learn more things open up my mind and I've been writing more as well, so journaling. So I am naturally very, very creative and very academic as well. There isn't much I can't do, let me just say that now. <laughs> but it's just been so, it's like a breath of fresh air the last few days where I've been journaling, I've been reading, I've been studying the word. And when I say studying the word, not just reading the Bible, you know, there's this method that I use when I'm reading the Bible and studying the word. And it's called the SOAP method. I found it on TikTok. This one girl was talking about it. And honestly, it's been so good where it's like the S stands for scripture. O is observation. A is application. And P is prayer. So I've just been doing that. And then the things that I've been coming across, I'm just like mind blown. Like this is why people say it's important to read the Bible for yourself. Because honestly, if you go by what other people are saying on TikTok or sermons or whatever, you will be deceived because like a lot of my TikTok is Christian talk, is Christian TikTok, my for you page. So when I'm scrolling, obviously people are sharing insight and things that we as Christians, as the body of Christ, should be doing, shouldn't be doing. And often, not all, not everyone always agrees because they're always like, you know, this is a time of grace, we have grace now, and that was by the law. And then, when I was studying yesterday, the scripture I came across was Matthew, I was studying Matthew 5, 1 to 26. So when it got to Matthew 5, 17, this is Jesus verbatim saying, I have not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. I was, I was lost for words because that just goes to show how far that deception has creeped into the body of Christ. Like so many people feel like, okay, like the New Testament is not the way of the law, but the New Testament, when you really read it for yourself, it's upholding what was said in the Old Testament. But Jesus is kind of, you know, going into more depth that not only should you not murder, you shouldn't be angry at your brother or sister, you shouldn't use your mouth to, uh, to spew insults at your brother or sister, like saying things that were probably people weren't taking seriously or that they were getting away with in the Old Testament. He came to not only uphold the things that were established, but to further emphasize on what else is not okay. And I was like, oh my gosh, it was just like a big moment for me yesterday night but how did we get here yeah so I feel like me still being in the country and me having not traveled for a little over a year now it's going to be about a year and six months soon it's kind of been my season of not only like my wilderness season but also kind of like rebuilding that foundation my foundation rediscovery who am I who is Wavy? what does she like you know yeah I've just thought I'd share that <laughs> Nothing else has really happened, if I'm being completely honest with you. That is it. Guys, as promised, I'm in public with my tiny little camera and I feel, I don't feel embarrassed. I actually feel quite like this is normal. I am getting a bit like anxious now because I feel like the people behind me are speaking about me. Fragrances tend to spin around, right? 
That is sick. Such a good camera. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Oh, wow. But the, the, the bottles are stunning. Stunning, guys. Do a little cheeky stories. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> She's my New York girl. I um, love things. Here, I'll put this in here. But yeah, share them oh, with love with your sister as well. I'm not sharing with her. <laughs> I'm not sharing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, that is this camera blurry. So, that burger was insane. Oh my goodness, I have not had such a good burger in so long. That burger was crazy. Like, the flavors, the cheese, everything, the fact that there was no mayonnaise or mustard was perfect because I cannot stand mayonnaise, cannot stand mustard. I don't like anything that looks like mayonnaise, to be quite frank. So, I've been in here waiting for David because he stayed with my cousins. This is the mic, by the way, for my other camera. Testing, testing. A oh, one, two, one, two. He stayed with my cousins over the weekend and he wanted to come home with me since I was going to be in London anyway, which makes sense. Now, the thing is, I want to go to Selfridges. I want to experience the sale. I need to go look around. I also want to, like, buy some foundations anyway. Like, I need to try the Hourglass Concealer. And I also... Although my makeup looks really good today. I think it's, well really good i mean complexion wise it's everything is matching hey david's here enjoy he doesn't want me to go to selfridges he thinks i'm gonna tempt myself Hello. hey i'm explaining to him that you don't want me to go to selfridges do you think i'm gonna tempt myself you're gonna tempt yourself but i need to there's some things i need to buy regardless anyway from selfridges yeah i need what? to go to the makeup counter why are you order it because i need to see the shade i need to see it's my shade i've I, do you know how much makeup I threw away that wasn't my shade in December? No. I need to really see that it's my shade this time, so yeah. Thoughts, feelings, Can you stretch yourself opinions? to just a makeup counter? Huh? Can you stretch yourself to just a makeup counter? No, I'm gonna go look at the clothes as well, but I'm not gonna buy anything. Okay. And even if I do buy it's anything. Life, man. Even if I do any buy, I only have a budget of fifty pounds. I'm doing this thing this year For where fifty, where I'm only allowed to spend a thousand pounds every we, three we months. Because I've already spent nine fifty. Spent nine fifty already. I bought this vintage. It's the eighth of January. It's a vintage Dior lady bag. It's amazing. So yeah, and that means I can't spend any more money again until my birthday month on myself. So I don't really need anything. Huh? Oh my gosh, David! <gasps> it's been so good. Let me show you. So. This is the other camera. Let me show you. Man, had a day yesterday, boy. What? Okay. Was it good? It wasn't, it wasn't bad. <laughs> like, it just looks... I was thinking, why does my room even look so... Oh, I see we're just following you. Oh, this is insane. That looks so good. Where is that? In my room. That's what I was thinking. What angle is this? Maybe I'll just take the cape because. It's crazy. In case it rains. Right. The way it's just following me. This year is about business. I want to do business. Business. Big business. It's an interesting day, man. What happened? I didn't get the pictures I wanted. Why? Honestly, I might just be a bit ugly. Not gonna lie. I'll hold my hands up. I might not be as good looking as I think I am. It might be this hairstyle though. This isn't your best hairstyle. This isn't like your prettiest looking hairstyle, in all honesty. That's not it. That's not it, man. It's just not that my hair looks good. It's not that my hair doesn't look good. So then what's the issue? Me? That's because of your hair. That's no, what I'm no. saying. Have you okay. seen the pictures? Okay. Show me then. Show me. These are great pictures. Are you joking? No, not still. David, they are good pictures. Trust and believe me. Oh my god, David, we're colour coordinated. David, this is all my real hair. How crazy. Happy! 
<laughs> Look at this dress. size 10 this is because it's not huge on me at all and I'm a six I feel like it's drowning me and we are here my favorite place but let me show you guys the thingy so this is how it's supposed to oh wait I'll blur out my <laughs> my number plate this is how it's supposed to be this is how it is, so it needs repairing. Yay! Would I the valet be available today? Uh, yeah, we can wash it, yeah. But should I get it washed once it's repaired? But then again, it is really dirty. We're done today. Yeah. That's my last key. <laughs> <laughs> it's my last key. Is it? Is yeah, it's key? massive. Yeah, it's massive, the key. People always comment on valet, actually. Do they? <laughs> yeah, I'm obsessed with perfume. Perfume's the best thing ever. I love it. I really do think it's like... Nothing lasts on me though. I can never smell it on myself. I'm actually saying that. The one that you sprayed on me the other day lasted forever. Did it? But you know what? I think you just get used to the smell of it. Do you think? Yeah, That's other people can smell it on you, but yeah. you've become like desensitised to it, I think. I think that yeah. might be it. That Huda Beauty one that I gave you. Oh my gosh, K Ali is a mate. That's a, one really of my favourite brands. Yeah, they do very... And it's affordable as well. It is. Very good fragrances. Yeah, yeah, it's not even that expensive. Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? So what's going on with the new car? No, I'm not sure. Really. Nothing. It's not here yet. No. I can show you a CLA if you want to look at one. I've got one. I've got one around the back. That's brand new. The new CLA, yeah. What is it? Night edition. No, it's not. But it's still the new CLA. Okay. Let's so it's see still it. giving an idea. I can pull that around. My gosh, it's amazing. <laughs> so wait, why doesn't the new CLA have this interior? It's only for GLCs, uh, Sequel saloons. There's a new GLC, right? New GLC. Is a new GLC interior. cheaper than the CLE? Uh, off the top of my head, no. Goodness sake, what's going on? This is crazy. Like this is why this is why I wanted this car, the screen. <laughs> I've just remembered now. I shouldn't have come to see it. <laughs> it is important that I show you guys my outfit. This skirt, I love this. Let me. I'm always a bit all over the place when it comes to speaking to you guys because I have so many thoughts running through my mind at once that I'm trying to communicate, which is just insane. This skirt, I want to try and rem remember the brand because I don't think there's a tag inside, which doesn't actually make any sense because what if. You know, the girls wanted to purchase from you again. In the, oh no, there is a tag. This is from Casper the label, this skirt. And this skirt is, I've been in my skirt bag. My collection of skirts has really, really improved. I purchased this, I wanna say early December last year. It's just about making modest fashion fun. Do you know what I mean? So this is what I've opted to wear today. I've worn it with, I paired it with a sheer, um, top from Zara that I got a few years ago and of course you have to cover the area you know so this is what it looked like and I wore it with my also my Bottega flats because they're not actually flats but we use them as flats they are my version of flats and then I paired it with my red leather jacket vintage but I'm gonna still step out around one to get to my lunch for three and I think I'm gonna change into my Chanel flats because I think I actually might take the train but I haven't decided yet I'm still iffy because it's really really cold and I just don't care to be cold Mercedes went well we'll be back next Tuesday the CLE guys the CLE is actually the car that I want now is this a wise decision I do not know I don't well I do know I don't think it is but what God cannot do doesn't exist you know what I mean but I think I'm gonna still sit on it think about it because I cannot believe I saw one in person today absolutely beautiful
beautiful car and you saw the interior you saw how big that screen was and to be honest that's actually why i fell in love with the car because of how big the screen was it's literally like a huge ipad pro in your car and i was like yeah safe i need it i can't stop looking at myself in this camera look at the wideness of it all it makes my room look phenomenal but anyway let me see if i can show you because when i put it here yesterday the curtains have done a huge thing the curtains have done a huge thing to the room. The table have done a huge thing. Like, I just feel like it's kind of like a hotel now and I'm loving it. I love my room. Because before on camera, I used to be like, oh, this looks crazy. But guys, when I get my plants, when I get my huge plants, really represents me, guys. We've come a long way, like such a long way. We can't forget the light. The light is important. Do you know what I mean? I need to kind of figure out where I want to be doing my outfit videos because we need to get into some outfit videos for TikTok. I am early. I'm literally 16, 16 minutes early. So I feel like I might be going the wrong way. Let me just make sure because last time when I was coming, I parked in the exact same place. Um, and Oh my goodness, I'm getting shy. Come on, Yvonne, you've got this. Oh, I did go the right way. I knew I was right. Okay, amazing. Yeah, so, Belki's on her way. I'm obviously early. New year, new me. Let's see how long this lasts this year. And we shall have fun. When we need to do like a like a makeup shopping date in the days, not a clothing shopping date, because then you won't be able to enjoy yourself. I don't want to do a makeup shopping date. I tried to. I bought makeup yesterday in Selfridges. Oh. Two products, one hundred and ten pounds. Yes, I could be roll you. Yes, I can go like this and then be roll you. You can be roll me. Yeah. <laughs> Let me be roll you. Okay. This is so good. It's good. Oh my gosh. This might be one of the best cheesecakes I've had in a long time. He said this was one of like this one of the best desserts. Wow, it's like okay. it's so. Go on, give it to them. What is it giving? This is giving nine out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling about yours, babe? Just chocolate. Just literally chocolate. This is like a fat dessert. Wow. It's literally just me living my best life in fat. I'm not really a cheesecake cheesecake girl. I love cheesecake. Mm. 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 It's amazing. Pretty good. Wow. Have you tried cheesecake? Yeah, I've tried her cheesecake. Yeah, That's really good. Really good. No, I haven't tried tomato soup. Should, should I try it? Just look at her face. She was just like, why do I have to try. do this again? <laughs> I can't so say no. Just properly, which one is better, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm more of a chocolate girl, so I like this better. Cheesecake. Cheesecake is better. Yeah, she's yeah. like cheesecake. Yeah. Cheesecake is so much better. <laughs> How small this thing is. People are really, I, to buy? Really just really, really grown up. I'm in heaven right now. It's like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my god, it's giving that kind of like. Isn't it nice? That is pretty cool. Unboxing time. Remember the bag that I was talking about with David in the car that I spent £950 on? Well, I purchased this bag on eBay. This is my first time using the whole eBay authentication verification process. And it is another vintage Lady Dior. So let's get into the one I currently have. This is the one I currently have, the people's fave, the people's champ. But remember, this is the one that I also broke. So I stepped on this last year in like October, September. I stepped on it randomly. It must have slid off my bed. And then I stepped on it not knowing that it was on the floor. Um, and I had it repaired. 
and she's as good as new but she's not perfect anymore unfortunately but she's still perfect to me but she's just not perfect and i still love her she will be part of me and my closet forever velvet gray we've got the orange and the encrusted dior embellished whatever yeah so i've been needing like a black bag with silver detailing because all the black bags i have have gold detail and sometimes i just want to wear silver jewelry do you know what i mean so without further ado let me show you her this is the brand new baby and she's also vintage as well so she is of the time of this one but black and i need to i need to treat this bag more carefully oh my goodness i'm so sorry yeah so look it's like diamond encrusted as well well so obviously crystals encrusted let's be for real guys don't quote me on that but absolutely gorgeous satin bag in absolutely immaculate condition this is the authentication that ebay sent me with the bag just to prove that it is authentic because it was authenticated by them before sending it to me and i couldn't be any happier i think this was a great purchase it's a new year guys we don't have to be spending threes and fours and fives and six k's go in the vintage market search like your life depends on it and pick yourself up some iconic unique bags that will go up in value that are retaining value i'll be damned if i spend another couple grand on a bag that ends up going out of trend and yes i know you buy bags because you like them a lot of the time i do still buy bags because i like them but nobody wants a bag that all of a sudden everyone and their mum carries uses to death and it just dies a horrible death like the Balenciaga hourglass bag i will never forgive you guys what you did to that bag but anyway we're not really supporting Balenciaga at this moment in time so i didn't show you guys what i got from selfridges now um let me get the powder because i've actually been using the powder i used the powder yesterday to do my makeup and oh i'm so happy with the purchase this is the powder that i purchased and it is the luminous silk glow fusion powder now this isn't my first time using giorgio armani powders i absolutely loved and was the biggest fan for giorgio armani neo nude fusion powder that powder was amazing to me i would use it on no makeup days i would use it on makeup days that was the best powder that I have used, but unfortunately they discontinued it, which was the most annoying thing. And I was searching the internet high and low to see if I could find it in my shade, but it's just not available. I mean, hopefully we'll be able to find it, but I've tried this. I just said to them, Do you know what? Let's just try this one. Um, so I purchased it and it's more kind of like a glowy, it looks the same as the powder that I'm used to and that I loved so much, but this one isn't, necessarily as matte as the other one but which is strange because the other one wasn't very matte either i think i don't know what they've done differently but the powder is still phenomenal i love this powder let me see i'm gonna put some on the skin right now let's do a swatch i'm gonna do one side of my face and we will compare so it's just so natural it's not heavy it will tie in any makeup look you know so I'm going to do one side of my face and then we will compare. So this is the side with the powder. There's still a glow, there's a radiance to it, but there's an overall even skin tone finish compared to, womp, womp, womp. we're working on her. We're going to get the chemical peel. I've been saying this for years, but we're definitely going to get her. Powder, no powder. I have to powder my whole face now. This is kind of what I want my skin to look like naturally. So that's that powder that's it on my skin amazing i love it and this is the darkest shade that they have which is 11.5 but because this is quite it's buildable coverage and it's quite glowy and nice it's not supposed to be kind of like a, a foundation base sort of powder you can't substitute this for foundation it's more kind of like imperfections blemishes uneven skin tone just really perfecting something that will still look very, very natural. And I love it. So 11.5, this will work for a lot of us dark skin girls and she's neutral. 
love that for us then i also purchased from Isamaya Beauty. And to be honest, I don't know why, I, well, I know why I got this, but this is not what I went to the store for. I went into the store for the hourglass concealers that are currently going viral on TikTok, but they were sold out because obviously they've gone viral on TikTok. But I went to the Isamaya Beauty counter. And one thing I really like about this brand is the edginess of the makeup. This is not for the clean girl aesthetic. This brand is not for the clean girl aesthetic. This brand is for those that want to play and have fun and approach makeup as an art. I didn't actually get any makeup. I got this glow primer and it's actually called the Triple Hyaluronic Glow Serum. Now, the lovely lady at the counter for Isamaya, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I hope so, basically is an avid watcher of YV vlogs. So she did me so good and was like, babes, honestly, this is so amazing. So this is the hand, oh, this is my hand, of course. And I'm gonna put the serum on my hand. So it looks quite white, but when you rub it in, oh, there's this kind of just iridescent glow like gold undertone amazing and imagine this on holiday on the chest the arms the legs before after love i haven't used it yet i will be using her soon but absolutely adore the packaging is a bit naughty i think this is supposed to mimic kind of like nipple rings or piercings but i'm not mad at it do you know and then the only item of clothing that i purchased was from Issa Balder. And I'm a babe that likes to be prepared. I don't go out and buy things when the event is approaching or when the holiday is approaching. I purchase in advance. I know, consumerism, but that's how I am. That's how I've always been. Because if I see something I like, I'm more about building my wardrobe, being ready for any occasion being ready for the moment, being ready for any last minute trip or vacation, life may throw at me. So I'm not gonna try this on, because to be honest with you, I just cannot be bothered, but this is a two piece and it's, this is the bra. And the only place I would wear this is on vacation, yeah? And it goes like that. We all know how a bra works. But then this is the matching skirt. It's a long maxi flowy, knitted skirt i feel like it can also be worn inside out because there's no tags do you like oh wait can it be worn i think it could be i mean i would yeah it could definitely be worn inside out if you wanted to and if you wanted to pair it with a different top so this piece actually only cost me 95 pounds in the self to sell originally i think it was originally the price was 580 pounds this is the extra small and it went down to 95 pounds for both they come as a pair and it's described online as a dress which i don't understand because it's actually a cord but yeah so those are the recent yv purchases and the purchases that will cause yv to no longer be making any purchases you guys are gonna really have to help me and hold me accountable because we can't be spending money like that i'm not even trying to be funny and consumerism and it's just being further like propelled by tiktok consumerism and we need to break the chains of consumerism over our lives over our generation and our lineage and the future of generations to come because it's just not okay so yeah those are my recent purchases that i'm absolutely obsessed with and now from our lovely lunch with sophie at jo malone guys the fragrances you already saw they smell so good and i feel like i'm running out of words to describe the fragrances because i'm not a professional by any means at all so the first one and i always love how they package at jo malone honestly the ribbons it's just such a christmassy brand kind of like all year round if that makes sense I just think they just get the vibes. I love the branding. So, this is red hibiscus. Let's remind ourselves of the scent. Oh. How do I describe this one now? I have no words to describe this. It's not sweet, but it's not floral as well. All the notes are very, very balanced. It's kind of, I would describe this as a neutral fragrance, but 
there's depth there as well. Maybe there's like woody notes, I don't know, or leathery notes. I wouldn't know, not leather. No, absolutely not leather. But it's quite balanced and neutral in the sense where everything is working together and it's in a it's truly an amazing scent. So this is the red hibiscus scent. This is what they look like. This was a rose-based fragrance and candle. And normally, guys, come on, rose-based fragrances and candles tend to smell like old people. And I don't mean that to be negative or to be derogatory in any way, but you know old ladies, the fragrances they used to use back in the day, some of them still use, where it's just so flowery and it's just, it just smells like old English, like British, just, just rose. And I always, always, always tend to steer clear of fragrances that have rose in it. But this one, oh, it's a nice rose. This one is a nice rose. I think I prefer it to the red hibiscus. This one is sweet. I would describe this as a sweet fragrance. But it's also kind of, it is obviously floral because of the rose in there. But I think there's also some vanilla in here. And you guys know how much I love vanilla. Love her. So this is the rose. Oh my gosh, it's magnolia. There's magnolia in here. This is the rose and magnolia cologne. So this is what it looks like. And then I have a candle to match, which goes with the bedroom perfectly, actually. It's just, where do I put her? Because I'm actually going to display her now. I love that we've gone to like a black lid this time. Pop that there. I mean, this table needs some work. It needs some work. This is no, by no means the finished, you know, project. But she's cute for now. You know, we must color coordinate. So red. I mean, guess where that's gonna go, the red. Any guesses, any takers, of course. But actually, I don't think there's much space. There isn't much space. And then this. Be here. There's absolutely no more room for any more red fragrances, please, guys. I mean, by all means, send. Keep sending. You know, what God cannot do does not exist. Who am I to turn down the the fruits of labor? You know, but I'm not gonna lie. It's getting a lot. It's getting a lot. That is such terrible English. It's, get, it's becoming a lot. Um, I think I'll just put this on the side here. And again, there isn't much space, so. We may have to start filling up the side table with fragrances. What is in your mouth? You look ridiculous. It's really nice, yeah, on the curtains. As opposed to mum, it, mum basically elongated the curtains to make them be to make them longer because they were short. Exactly. The curtains. Stop it! Can you guys stop it? The curtains came to here, and now, yeah. So let's get some moody lights going because. Who even uses the big light anymore? Oh, that's the lights. Lady is jumping on her, like literally. Lady, stop it. Because I was, I spent most of the day kind of like filming um, makeup videos. Well, I tried to do a makeup video and I also tried to do a hair video. The hair video went completely left, and both for TikTok. And these kind of things really do affect my mood, unfortunately. And I'm just kind of like, oh, like I've been doing this for so many years. I should, I shouldn't be, you know, having flops. That's how I think in my head. Where I've been struggling with my hair for the last year, um, and makeup because I just want to try different things and those different things aren't working for me. They probably don't suit my face and 
I've fallen off when it comes to eyeshadow. Well, not fallen off, but I know it's good because that's something you constantly need to practice, isn't it? Basically, I washed my hair um, last night. I kind of had to because I put so much product and gel in it that I just had to, you know, be washed. And plus, I'm having getting braids done tomorrow, fingers crossed. Well, yeah, I think so. She just needs to confirm. I need to send her some pictures um, of how short my hair is at the back for the start that I want, see if it's possible. But I'm going to rinse out my hair. I'm going to go to Cambridge this morning because I need to get a an adapter from the Apple store so that we can get this vlog editing underway and I might also visit Space NK to get some of my fave material because when I tell you my back knee has reduced so much so I used to suffer from lots of lots of lots of back knee and it was ignorance what caused it because when I would wash my hair I would do it after I'd showered and then um, all that conditioner and hair product was basically on my back and I was doing that for so many years without knowing when I was younger and then I just didn't apply product to it hoping that it would clear by itself and then the last two to three years I've been you know going through the product and what I can honestly say to you is that has really really helped me the Naturium um, Perfecta Salicylic Acid Wash is so good for the back and then we have the glycolic acid wash and then i use the this is what i use to moisturize also from naturium the biolipid restoration i still use cerave moisturizer when i can um but i also go after that with this ula henriksen oh hello yeah i also go in with this ula henriksen firmly yours toning dry body oil and I think this has done wonders as well I'm going to shave my back now there is still marks so don't expect to see something out of this world okay I'm just being transparent this is my back now I don't know if you guys can this doesn't look flattering <laughs> but yeah this is my back now and a lot of the acne has gone but I'm still left with some of the marks and even those marks have kind of like faded so yeah you heard it here first. Let's get this hair washed. A little amount. I don't want this to weigh down my hair. Just in case I can't do my braids. Do you know what I mean? Not too much. Because when I think about the times where my hair broke the most, it was when I wasn't moisturising my strands and just going in with the straightener. Obviously because I wanted it to have as much movement as possible granted but we want to retain our length girls so I'm not going to be sacrificing my length for you know movement personally and then Olaplex bond smoother I will never not use this personally I just think it's great again not too much something light I like to focus that on the ends especially the more damaged strands because why are they so straight? Like, get the memo. Look at your mates. Do you know what I mean? I'm just being dramatic at this point. Like, the same heat I applied to Dana applied to the rest of the strands. Why are you acting up? And then, we're going to go in with my dream coat. My wild dream coat. If I can get this cover off. Been loving. And then lastly, heat protector. So... CHI Silk Infusion Heat Protector is, wait, my robe is off. It's not chic at all. CHI, and again, enough but not too much. It's not too much. And I focus that especially on the already, <laughs> all the more damaged parts of my hair. Paddle brush, I have two of these. So I have a clean hair one and a dirty hair one. Okay, and we are done. How am I going to have my hair to go out? I might just put it all in a, in a stocking cap and wear a quick closure wig. Because I don't want to put excess products. I'm not washing my hair again between now and tomorrow. It's just not happening. This is that very wiggy wig that I never customised, that I'm thinking about redoing. 
and customizing it. Because to be honest, I was so skeptical in my abilities because this was the first wig I was making in so long, like literal years. I think the last time I made wigs was before my 25th birthday and I made this last year. I made the wig cap too small for my head. I mean, it works, but I could have done with a little bit more movement. I put so much pressure on myself. I'm always kind of like, not even really enjoying the looks or the, or the outcomes. I'm always thinking of what I could have done better. And why did it look like that? Or why is it so dense? Or this, that, and the third. And I'm just trying to be a lot more easier on myself. Also, tangle teasers, girls. Do you know how knotty this wig gets because of its texture? This is the only brush that works. This tangle teaser, tangle teasers in general, one thing people don't realize is with brushes, they all have a different function. This is a styling brush. In no way you're ever supposed to use this to detangle your hair. You will be ripping out your hair. The only brushes you are to use to detangle your hair or any hair, I recommend are Tangle Teasers or the other one you guys have seen me use, which is also still kind of like a Tangle Teaser, but it's the handheld round circle one. You just go like that. And this closure is also quite small. Granted, the cap, <laughs> the cap is a lot more forward than it needs to be. So I'm just going to pull it back. My hairline starts here. Bring the wig a bit more forward so it can stay like that. Closure wigs are actually so necessary. I don't care what anyone says, but quick runarounds, nothing crazy. Even if you don't want this to be like your going out unit per se, but even when you are going out and you need to quickly put something on your head, this is the wig. Okay, this is as good as she's going to get. I mean, she's not bad. It's very... This is a good wig for 20... For like 2017, 2018. But the girls have moved on. You know what I mean? So, yeah. With that being said, maybe I'll find a white man with this hair. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, let's just get ready and go. I'm going to wear my clothes. I'll be back and then we'll just be on our merry way. I don't know if I've told you guys about these boots, but they're from a brand called Bobby's and they're so perfect. Flat knee high. Like, I just love how simple they are. Genuine leather, great quality. Dressed up or down, even though anything flat to me is definitely dressed down. There's no way flats is dressed up, please. I completely forgot about this jacket. Must stop buying clothes. Anyway, I've stopped. I'm not doing that this year, please. I have PTSD from doing this reverse. Man, I can't wait to get this car repaired and to get it washed as well because this is just not me. It's not me. I don't know why I always try to get the lift when I'm here. These are the worst lifts I've ever experienced in my life. Like they quite actually take 30 minutes. And I just need to go down on the floor. Completely forgot. Excuse me. Um, do you have any um adapters? I want one with a double micro SD card. Uh, that would be great maybe. I've got one with a uh, full size micro and a, yeah, and a SD micro. and a micro SD, I should say. So yeah. you have one with an SD card and a micro SD? Yes. That's the one I want. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I knew this would happen to me. I'm now considering a MacBook Pro. Only because we need to get these vlogs out quick. Let's be real. You know? But we might not get it. I'm, on, I'm honestly just considering it. It's just something that's in the back of my mind, you know. You have to come and see. I got it. Let me show you. I got everything that I came to get, but I also got the MacBooks. Happy, happy girl. No excuse now. The vlogs are going to be out and fast. But to be honest, the real reason why I ended up getting this um, MacBook Pro um, it is kind of like an impulsive, well it's not, it's not really an impulsive purchase because I actually was looking at it for a few months because it takes my current laptop literal days 
just to render something simple I mean to actually make it into a video so yeah apparently with this one puts an m3 pro chip and um, my brother gave me a lot of the details about it um, it basically does it in speed of light especially as I film in 4k so that would be good so this will basically essentially be kind of like his like laptop for the time being so yeah happy he's gonna be so happy as well <laughs> okay big fail so boots doesn't have hourglass john lewis does we're gonna go to space nk get all the nutrition bits and then stop by john lewis see if they have the hourglass concealers and then we're going home i'd have to go to john lewis yes okay wait yeah, they have the full range. Hi! Hi. Um, can I have some help with... I want some Naturium. Yeah. But I can't see the body washes that I want. Oh my goodness, we have so today. It's been such a good day. I've got everything that I needed. But also, I'm kind of like thinking, oh, I should just message the PR people because I do know the PR behind like Hourglass, but I don't want to have like a bias. Kind of like opinion, the concealer. Even though I know I'm going to love it, I like I just know it because I love the primer. Um, Makai also told me how good it was, so I think it's going to be really good. So I can't wait to do makeup. Maybe I'll just do makeup this evening for the fun of it. So I really need to get back into my bag of just being creative and just doing things, being active and doing things. Do you know what I mean? I need to be back in the era I was in when I was like climbing the ladder, basically. That's where I need to be. Skin's glowing. Braid day. Good morning. <laughs> Let's start off with what I'm wearing. I'm leaving in the next 10 minutes. I am wearing leggings. These are from Sefi. Absolutely adore. Guys, I live in clothes like this. Like, honestly, I always say women should have at least two of these i have probably like six seven these are from sefi my the ones that i originally had that i last wore from misguided years ago but they stopped doing now misguided by closed down and these are i've been able to find another pair but these are from sefi and i'll keep that link in the description box and it also comes with this jacket well they don't come well these were separate but this is the full set and I just love things like this. Like body hugging sort of active wear is my jam. This bralette that I'm wearing is just from Zara. Not that I need it. There is no boobies. When am I gonna hit my second um, puberty? Because 17 year old me will be shocked to find out we still don't have tits yet. <laughs> anyway, hair wise. Okay, so this is the star of the show. I'm going today to get long, knotless, black braids. And just knotless, I'm not doing any boho or bohemian, none of that, because I'm not trying to be funny. What has happened to just getting normal braids, you know? I feel like the girls aren't doing just straight normal braids anymore. And they're still so iconic. Hat as usual. I need to wear some earrings today. I have mirrors all over this bedroom. I love that for me because one thing about me, I'm going to look at myself. And then, oh my goodness, you're all trainers. I brought these out, but I was supposed to get my Sakai's. Oh. Let's go. I'm early, guys. It's like I've literally turned my life around. I'm early again. I love coming here because I get my... I leave with my hair done. I leave a brand new girl. It's been ages since I've been here. The last time I was here was when I had the French curl braids in my blonde color, which was iconic. That literally went viral all over Pinterest. She was beautiful, but today we do something else. It's so loud here. Good morning, my love. <laughs> this is a Mr. Tracky production. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
But love, I love. love. I love. They didn't believe in the blunt cut. Now they believe it was. THD! Guys, oh my goodness. When I say, oh, for goodness sake, this hair was not the plan. You guys knew what the plan was, but. This ended up being so much better than what we planned. And Tracy didn't want me to blunt cut it. Like, I was like, we're blunt cutting this thing right now. He thought it would look really ugly just for her to love it. And guys, honestly, I love my hair. And we have the new Hourglass concealers. So we're gonna try some makeup with it. I can't wait to do my makeup with this. I might even do it today as I'm getting in because what do you mean my hair looks like this i absolutely adore it i've never had cornrows like this before and then to combine it with the blunt cut because you guys know how much i love a blunt cut braided bob but she didn't want to do that for me either so <laughs> um this is what we agreed on and we both ended up absolutely loving it anyway going home i think i'll end the vlog here let guys let me know what you think about the hair is it a yay or a nay? Even if you guys say nay, I'm my own person always, so I me, mean, I love the hair, sure.